God everything I did to y'all, but he did not deserve this. He did not. Octaria Douglas lost her 17-year-old son, Deontay Wallace, on Sunday when he was hit by a bullet while sitting in a car at 30th and Knox. I will love you later, and I will love you always. Her son's death comes during a violent week in Minneapolis. The word is listen. It's listen. Put them guns down because that's, the, that's not the way. Douglas wants to work within the current police structure to stop the violence. It's deeper with the police stuff and all this type of stuff. You know, there's good cops out there. Trust me, there's good. My cousin is a cop, and I know damn sure he's good. But Father God, even though our dear brother is up there with you, you left some of us here as messengers. Yeah. Peace activists are working directly with MPD on solutions. Some are even calling for more officers on the streets and say recent calls from council members to dismantle the department are counterproductive. We want good police in our neighborhood, just like we want good people in our neighborhood. And that's something that people seem like they don't want to say. Despite the criticism, five council members have signed their names to a new proposal that crosses out the police department in the city charter in favor of a broader community safety and violence prevention department. We don't actually seem to have a good answer to gun violence today. There are a lot of other methods and a lot of other approaches that we can that we can attempt. And Ward 3's Steve Fletcher says the council would have stronger oversight of the new department, which would focus more on public health while still allowing for a law enforcement division with officers. But council members don't have a plan for that structure or how it would respond to violent crime. So I believe it'll mean fewer police officers, but literally we have committed to a community engagement process to figure out what this is going to look like. And just to walk you through the process here a little bit, if it passes the council tomorrow, we'll go to the Charter Commission in Minneapolis and then uh, likely to a public vote. Uh, and that could be either be this November or it may have to be delayed until next year. But bottom line is, is this likely will not happen unless a majority of people in Minneapolis decide that they want it. Julie, back to you. All right. Thank you, Danny. 33 states are now reporting an increase in coronavirus cases, and the CDC says the true number of Americans who've been infected with it may top 20 million. That's 10 times higher than reported. They are citing data from antibody tests. Minnesota is not reporting a spike in cases, but the health department says people in their 20s now make up the largest